to do when you are insecure and you are running your own business. My name is Tine Kerense from Powerful Business Academy. I help self-employed businesswomen to build a business. A business that thrives and where you can make impact. What is very important is that you might want to seek help. Uh, either a psychologist or a coach. Um, because insecurity is, um, is so unnecessary. Um, because often this is only a concept in your head. Uh, often is, it is not even true. We are scared of doing things. We are scared of exposing ourselves. But often we do it anyway. And then the insecurity is just draining and draining and draining our energy. Um, and that doesn't make it fun to do. You're con constantly in a, in a forcing energy where you have to be courageous to, to start doing things. Your comfort zone is very small, so you have to get out of your comfort zone a lot. It, that is the case with business. And when you're insecure, it's even more. Um, so find help with that. What also helps is have an accountability uh, buddy. If there are things that you um, plan to do and you keep postponing them and you keep finding reasons not to do it, you keep doing other things that make you less money or are less important, but to keep you busy. Because that's, what often, that's often what we do when we are insecure. Um, find an accountability buddy or partner. Um, someone you talk to every week preferably in the beginning of the week or at the end of the week. When you do it in the beginning of the week, you state your goals, you state your bold actions, the actions that you're going to take that are way out of your comfort zone and that make you feel insecure because, you know, insecurity often comes from the fact that we feel that we have no control. We don't know what the outcome is or we are worried about other people's perception about us. Well, I'm going to give you some great information on that in my last tip because that's a huge epiphany. Be aware of that. But the accountability partner at the beginning of the week when you set your goals, um, you, be, when you state them to someone else, um, it, it, be, it, it gets a different energy, it gets a different layer, it gets a different commitment within yourself. You know you cannot hide from it because next week um, your body will keep you accountable. Now you can come up with reasons or excuses, uh, but if you have a good body, the body will see through it and will cut the crap and will say, hey, listen, that's not what you were up to. Those seem seems like excuses to me. So what are you going to do this week? That's going to help you tremendously. Okay, finding an accountability buddy or partner. And when you do it at the end of the week, um, the buddy, uh, you, you can see, okay, in the beginning of the week, I had these goals and the buddy can say, well, what did you do? And how was your week? And what are you going to take away to next week? What are your learnings? All right. So if you have a few questions and if you, this can be half an hour or 15 minutes every week and you both split the time so it doesn't have to drag along. It's just short and I would advise, I always did it on Monday morning at the beginning of the week or when, when we did it every morning at um, 8.30 in the morning. Next tip. Working online will help because it's easier because you can hide more, but it's a lot more difficult to make and build a connection with people when you are online. Yes, you can, you can send out emails. Yes, you can DM people, but guess what? Everybody's doing that. And when you meet people in real life, in real events or have real calls or Zoom calls, then you build a connection. And that's eventually which is uh, important if you want to make sales. Because often women who are insecure also don't do a lot of sales. 
because they are afraid to expose themselves. They think they intrude upon someone else if they uh, try to sell their product or service because they don't have a lot of opinion and high value about themselves. They believe other people have the same and therefore they feel like an intruder if they want to sell. So often the sales of insecure people is not the way it should be. Um, and please work on that. Uh, with your accountability uh, partner, for example. The next tip is mindset. Realize that it's only a conception, a perception in your mind. It's often not true. If you would go to, a, to a, a judge and you would say, I'm insecure, and he would look at the facts and he would look at, uh, at all, all the, the things, would it stand in the court of law? It's a question my coach taught me. Would it stand in the court of law? Is it something tangible? Is it something you can see? If not, it's a concept in your mind and it's not true, but you act upon it. And why is that the case? Because probably something has happened when you were a child. Uh, you've, you've overheard something or your parents uh, tried to, to help you and you always thought I'm not doing it right or I'm not doing it correct. Maybe other things. Um, maybe you always feel uncomfortable in, in the presence of other people. Um, but still, being insecure is not something you can hold. You, you cannot grab it. So it's a concept. And a concept in your mind can change. Your mind can, can create a different thought and then you can start to behave differently. All right, so that's very important. And the last tip, and this is the epiphany, be aware that you are not alone. There are so many people who are insecure and they're always afraid that someone else is going to find out. They're always stepping out of your comfort zone. Guess what? You might see many of them during the day on social media. You might read their emails. You might receive their text messages. You don't know how much effort it took them. You don't know how far out of their comfort zone they had to get to do this. You think it's only you. But that's the biggest misconception of all. Basically, everybody has insecure moments. Everybody has things that are out of their comfort zone. But you make it about you. You think <laughs> nobody else is the same. But because nobody talks about this, because if we have a business, we tend to hide our insecurities and we tend to work our way around it. We don't even know that many other people are the same. Isn't that a laugh? Isn't that a joke? We play so hard and we try so hard for other people not to find out about this, to be perfect, that we don't even know that there's lots of people out there who are the same. I found that the biggest epiphany uh, that, that I had, and, and it came in my mind um, dur during a program I was doing, and I thought, oh my God, <laughs> it's not about me, myself and I, it's about what can I offer to the world? Yeah, I used to be insecure. I used to be the insecurest kid in class, I suppose. But then I started studying sports and I had to be in front of groups. Man, I was driving that. I couldn't sleep at night. But, you know, eventually I started to, to get feedback and it wasn't the end of the world. Nothing happened. Maybe I made a mistake, but I also did a lot of good things. And of course, we, we, we women, we tend to focus on the mistakes we make. And that's what keeps us insecure. So, this is just one topic of the women's blueprint for business success. It's the topic mindset. So there's nine other areas that are very, very important if you want to work uh, and scale and grow your business. Um, I'm inviting you 
to just schedule a quick 15 minute call with me, get to know each other, and who knows, maybe I can help you. Maybe I can be your accountability partner. Of course, that won't be for free, but I will also be your business coach. I will also be your mentor, your training, your guide, your healer. I do Reiki. So have a look at my calendar. See if we can talk to each other soon. I'm looking forward to it. And if not, totally fine. I'll create another video for you next week. Bye bye.